This is going to be a crochet flower. We will be using a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and four ply worsted weight yarn. We will start by attaching a slip knot to the crochet hook. Take the loose end, wrap it over the main strand. Now you have a loop. Take the loop, wrap it over the main strand. Put your hook below the center strand, back up the opposite side. This creates the slip knot. You can make your chain as long as you want to make it or as short as you want to make it. I'm going to make a chain of 50. And once we get going, you will understand why it's so easy to adapt and modify this particular pattern. I have about five chains, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, 23, 24, 25. I have completed 25. I'm going to finish the chain and we will continue on with the pattern. If you are familiar with the foundation stitch, you can work that instead of the chain. We will be working one half double crochet in each chain across. And this may take a while. But this pattern does not have to be exact because it is going to be kind of frilly, sort of like a curly cue. And if you've made the slinky flower, it's going to be similar to that one. So being exact does not matter. And I've made mine 50, and if you want to make your 60 or 70 or 80 to make a giant flower, it's going to work with the larger flower. And you can also work in triple crochet or whatever size stitch you want to use. And if you notice I am not counting, that is because it's not important to count with this project. I'm going to go on ahead and finish all my half double crochet. This is going to take a little bit of time. And so when I get them finished, I will come back and finish the next row. This is how much I've completed at this point, and this is what I have left. Now we will turn work one single crochet in the same stitch, chain three, skip a stitch, work a single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, skip one stitch, work a single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, skip one stitch, work a single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, skip a stitch, work a single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, skip a stitch, work a single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, skip a stitch, work a single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, skip a stitch, work a single crochet in the next stitch. This is what we have completed. We will have a series of chain three loops on row two. I have this much more to complete, so I'm going to go on ahead and finish working this row. When I come back, we will be starting row three. I am at the end, and I am able to skip a stitch, but if you're not able to skip a stitch, and I will use this as an example, and I'm going to work my single crochet here. Work a chain three. And if this is all you have left, what you do is just go on ahead and work your single crochet and end just like that. As you can see, it's starting to get full on this side, and that is the effect that we are looking for. If you have an extra chain on here, it's not going to make any difference at all, and it's just going to add to the fullness of your flower. We have completed the chain three loops. Now we're working on row three. I am going to work five double crochet 
through each chain three loop. One, two, three, four, five, slip stitch in the next single crochet. Work five double crochet in the next chain three loop. One, two, three. Four, five, slip stitch in the next stitch. Work five double crochet in the next chain three loop. One, two. Three, four, five, slip stitch in the next single crochet. Five double crochet in the next chain three loop. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch in the single crochet. Work five double crochet in the next chain three loop. One, Two, three, four, five. Slip stitch in the next single crochet. And this is what we have going on, and you can see it is starting to curl around, so it will be like a curly cue as well. One, two, three, four, five, slip stitch in the single crochet, five double crochet in the next chain, one, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch in the next single crochet. I am working right around the chain. I'm not going through it. 
you can see the stitches are wrapped right around the chain. Five double crochet in the next chain. One, two, three, four, five, slip stitch in the next single crochet, five double crochet in the next chain, one, two, three, four, five, slip stitch in the next chain, I'm going to complete the remaining stitches. They will all be the same with five double crochet around each chain, a slip stitch in the single crochet. You will continue across to the end. I have completed the last stitch. I'm going to work a slip stitch down here in the top of the half double crochet. Wrap the yarn over, pull through. And I'm going to pull through a little bit extra yarn and this will be used for sewing the piece together. You can stop here if you want to stop here and make your flower. I'm going to add a little bit extra. I'm going to start by attaching a slip stitch right here on the edge. I'm going to be working a back post half double crochet around each of the previous stitches and I'm putting my hook between the stitches around the front to the back and then working the half double crochet when I get here to the little valley between each petal I'm going to work right over the top down to this single crochet working a single crochet and then this is going to give me a little colorful effect between each petal and if you flip it up you can see a little color right here this pushes the top of the stitches to the front I'm continuing with the next set of stitches with the back post half double crochet that's number four five now I'm going to work a single crochet working right over the top and it will be a little bit extended you don't want it too tight working the next set of half double crochet back post half double crochet one two Four, five, now the single crochet between The next five back post half double crochet one two. 
two. Four. Five. Single crochet. You will continue across working the five back post half double crochet and a single crochet over the previous stitches between. This is what we have going on and you can see how it's curling up really nice. This is what it looks like on the back side. So you could actually flip it over and use the back side if you prefer. You have a reversible type flower edging here that you could use. I refer to this as an edging because you could sew this onto the edge of a dress. I have finished the last stitch. Now I'm going to work a slip stitch to join. And then cut off the yarn. I am not going to be using this tail, so I'm going to go on ahead and sew it in, leaving it between the stitches. going back in the opposite direction over a stitch and run it through these down here and you won't be able to see it and cut off the tail. I have threaded my needle. Now I'm going to start winding this around and I'm going to make a little center here twisting it around like this and then I'm going to sew through to the back side and then back up. I want to make sure it will stay in place. And then I'm going to continue placing it around like this and then sew through to the back side like that. and then back up to the front then over a stitch then back into the back and you can just kind of lightly tack it at first until you get it wrapped around and then come back and then sew it a little more secure if you think that it's not sewn secure enough And I, I accidentally sewed through the blue. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to go back through here to the back side. And go over a little bit. And back up here to the front. then into the back now over a stitch and 
go back in here to the back and over a little bit back up here to the front you can see how it's winding around nice and neat I'm going to go through all the layers into the back and then over a stitch back up to the front over a stitch into the back And over a stitch up into the front. Now I'm going to lay this down. That looks pretty secure, a little bit more than I thought it was going to be. So, what I'm going to do is work into the back like this. And then up into this round, up into this row of stitches right here, then into the back. Continue sewing it together. And every so often I am catching the back loop of a petal up to the front. That's just something I've decided to do. You can do that if you want to. You don't have to. You just don't want your flower coming apart. Now I'm over here to the edge and I'm going to sew this little part down here on the back side just like that. And then make a knot. And this will be the time that you want to check to make sure it's sewn down pretty secure. It doesn't have to be sewn down really, really tight, but just secure. And I have a little bit of yarn left over, and what I'm going to do is sew it on over here. And then I'm going to leave it just in case I need it later on for attaching to a hat or wherever I use it. And if I don't use it, I'll just sew it in. Thank you for watching this tutorial and following along with the crochet flower. I am including two more flower tutorials you may want to take a look at. There will be a live annotation link that will take you to each flower. When you get your projects complete, share pictures to Crochet Geeks community on Google+. Now that this one is complete, what will be your next crochet project?